We are only human sculptors <laughs> in that we are getting up every day, breathing, breathing sleeping, sleeping, rubbing, from sleeping, hoping, fearing, the same as everybody else. We never believed that we knew better than anybody else. We always felt that whatever we were exploring, we were exploring together, together with the viewer. We always think we're going down life's road hand in hand with the other person. We never believed like the artists we used to socialize with, that everybody outside white people outside the National Gallery is stupid. That's what the artists always believe, you know? And it's not true. Everyone is a fantastic person. Everyone is an amazing individual. We are walking hand in hand through the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> we, we believe it's very simple, but collecting the 3,712 posters made us realize they exist on many levels. But the first two levels is, number one, they exist in order to sell newspapers. And people might say that it's commercial or brash or that's the media, but it would be a damn silly newspaper that didn't try to sell copies. And the second level they exist on is when we saw the best example of in the early days of collecting the posters. We were walking on our way to dinner. We passed a block of flats which were terraced. So we see all of the front doors. And then we saw a policeman and a policewoman pressing the bell of one of the flats. And we thought, oh my God, some horrific things about to unfold in that family and in the school life and in the working life, in the neighborhood to the grandmother in Australia, probably lasting, the police will tell you, most of these disasters last generations. Yeah? The poster goes in one week or one day, but the tragedy lives on. We are very interested in the fact that the riots happened when they did, because the day we finished designing the 292 London pictures, having spent six years collecting the 3,712 posters, that very night, we were so excited that we thought we would celebrate, we would go somewhere special, have a fantastic dinner. Well, we were too exhausted and too emotional, so we went to our usual restaurant where we always go when we're alone. And as we were finishing our meal, our favourite waiter came up and said, please, gentlemen, can you just go? Go, leave. I said, I beg your pardon, we haven't even had coffee yet. Please bring the bill. He said, look, look. And we looked out of the window, and there were 500 young people running there in the middle of the street, there was a police van behind them, and then suddenly there was a bus on fire around the corner in Sheckwell Lane. That was the night of the riots. They had huge demonstrations and riots in the turn of the previous century with nihilists closing down Trafalgar Square and police horses, crazy, crazy stuff. Quite extraordinary. But we do believe that we're dealing with the eternal human dilemma which is always circling around death, hope, life, fear, sex, money, race, religion. And those are the things that lie inside everyone wherever they live on this planet, and whatever the social background or educational background, it's always there. If we hadn't become Gilbert and George, what would we be, Gilbert? I would probably be a waiter, and Gilbert would be, oh my God, or a shoemaker, or a wood carver. <laughs> <laughs> Just see what we avoided. <laughs>